Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the layout tool, another one of our favorite tools from the reporting category. The layout tool allows us to position multiple reporting snippets and render them however we'd like. So we'll look at the data available in the table tools sample, the master stork file with some play data of stores based in different Colorado counties. And we're gonna summarize this data into a couple of reporting tables. These tables are pre-made for us, so we can focus on using the layout tool to position them. But the first table it shows our totals by county. The second table illustrates our top five stores ranked by sales. And the third table is a pivot showing our number of customers by county and region. You'll also notice that we use uh, formula tools after each of our reporting snippets to uh, create a field called sheet name and then give a descriptive name to each of our um, different reporting snippets. Now, you'll see that we uh, can't take multiple um, streams and, and put them into a layout tool, so we're going to need to use a union tool to uh, create one stream that we can then uh, take into our layout. And depending on your workflow, you may use the append fields, the join, join multiple. In this case, we have the same field structure with table and sheet name being the only two fields available on each of these three streams. So we can easily union them together. And that way we have three reporting snippets being brought into our one layout tool. And as with all the other reporting tools, we'll need to browse to evaluate the results. But first, looking at the configuration panel of the layout tool, first the layout mode, we can select whether we want to combine each of these reporting snippets or we want to group them based on a field. We can then determine the orientation of how these reporting snippets should be arranged, whether horizontal, vertical, uh, and including things like section breaks. We can include borders, separators, and cell padding. Uh, but let's take a look at the default configuration. We'll have to add a browse tool after to view the results. Definitely something to get used to when you're new working with the reporting tools. Nice thing about the browse tool is the ability to pop it onto a, a new window, look at it on a second monitor, or bring it full screen. Not particularly interested in positioning these three different tables horizontally on the same layout. Ultimately, I'd love to publish these to different tabs in Excel, or different sheets within the same Excel workbook. And in order to do so, we're going to group by a field, and we'll use that field that Blake described called sheet name. That way we can customize exactly what we want the sheet name in Excel to be. And we can select the vertical with section breaks as our orientation. And when we do so, we see that the section name becomes available. And in our dropdown, any of our available fields that aren't reporting objects, we can use as our section name. So the text that we see in the sheet name field should be pulled through as our section name. If we were publishing to a PDF, that would be the bookmark name within the PDF which can be really handy. And as a quick sample of how we can render this result and view our finished product, we'll quickly pop on a render tool and clicking in the canvas background, I can quickly access any of the files created. And as we see down at the bottom of the screen, our three sheets have the names that we defined in our formula tools. So here we ran into the maximum number of characters allowed by Excel. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.